Laura Anthony, founding partner of Anthony LG PLLC. This week's blog talks about the SEC's fall 2021 flex regulatory agenda. In mid-December, the SEC published its semi-annual regulatory agenda and plans for rulemaking. The unified agenda of regulatory and deregulatory actions contains the regulatory plans of 28 federal agencies and 68 federal agency regulatory agendas. The fall 2021 agenda for the SEC met with criticism from Commissioner Hester M. Pierce and now former Commissioner Elad Roisman as failing to provide any items intended to facilitate capital formation, which of course is one of the main tenets of the SEC. The agenda is published twice a year, and for several years I have blogged about each publication. The agenda is broken down by the pre-roll stage, the proposed rule stage, the final rule stage, and long-term actions. The proposed and final rule stages are intended to be completed within the next 12 months, and long-term actions are anything beyond that. Although, items do move around under different categories regardless of where they are at any given publication. The number of items to be completed in a 12-month frame on the fall agenda jumped, from 50, uh, jumped up to 52 items since spring, which only had 45 items, and the prior agenda before that only had 32. Many of the new items are, re are a revisit of previously passed rule changes. For more, click the link below or go to securitieslogblog.com. And of course, you may always contact me directly.